वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर यूट्यूब चैनल साइज ऑफ बिल्डिंग एंड बीम फॉर डबल स्टोरी रेजिडेंशियल बिल्डिंग इफ यू वांट टू बिल्ड योर हाउस एंड दैट इज जी प्लस वन स्टोरी ग्राउंड फ्लोर प्लस फर्स्ट फ्लोर दैट इज डबल स्टोरी व्हाट शुड बी द साइज ऑफ फुटिंग एंड साइज ऑफ प्लेंथ बीम एंड साइड स्टील रे फॉर दिस फुटिंग एंड एंड साइड स्टील रे फॉर दिस beam this is the topic for today remember guys for g plus 1 story size of the footing should not be less than but normally you can keep 4 by 4 feet 4 feet 0 0 inches and this is the other size this is square fitting footing 4 feet and 0 0 inches this is size of footing next guys you can see here inside this footing we have the column let me show you the column guys you can see this is the column this is size of the footing the next one guys you can see this is beam okay i will guide you for steel reinforcement after this so this is beam and here size of size of the beam should not be less than 9 inches by 12 inches this is size of plant beam so let me show you here this is footing and this is beam this is for g plus one story now let me guide you for its depth so guys you can see here this is depth of the footing so here guys it can show you the ground level so the depth of the footing should not be less than 1 meter you can say or 3 feet and 6 inches this is for g plus one story but for normal residential building not for commercial building this is its depth inside this guys you can uh, make a, a column like this so here guys you can see the steel reinforcement i will also guide you for the steel reinforcement next guys here concrete cover the first one is so first of all size of footing Z equal four feet by four feet. Depth of footing three feet and six inches. It should not be less than this. Next, guys. Concrete cover. Normally, you can use one point five inch. Okay, concrete cover for uh, so, sorry. This is footing. So seventy five millimeter or three inches for all side. if there is right side left side bottom and top this is concrete cover so here guys next one use m20 grade concrete which ratio is one ratio 1.5 ratio 3 this is concrete so this is grade of concrete specially for rcc footing these are the details next guys steel reinforcement okay so use minimum 12 mm die of steel rod with the spacing of 6 inches center to center this is very important okay so let me show you these are steel reinforcement guys you can see this one okay the depth already i have discussed here next guys here use 40 grade steel rod for residential building okay so these are the details for the footing if you see guys this is beam so size of the beam is we discussed so this is beam now and that was footing okay now for the beam size is for g plus 1 9 inches by 12 inches okay next use m20 grade concrete concrete cover 1.5 inch for left right bottom top like this this is concrete cover and this is its stirrup okay next guys here use minimum four bars and the dia should not be less than 12 mm 
Okay, these are longitudinal bars. Four longitudinal bars. Next, guys, use eight millimeter dia for stirrups with six inches spacing center to center. This is very important, especially for the beam. Minimum four bars, two at the bottom, two at the top. This is for G plus one story. Okay, but uh, this is normally, so if uh, the covered area, I will tell you, okay, for covered area, covered area up to 2000 square feet, especially for this, not for a huge building. So guys, this is a short video about size of column inside steel reinforcement, plane beam size, steel reinforcement and some important details. Okay, as we discussed before guys, these hooks should be bent on 135 degree minimum with 3 inches length. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.